Hello and congratulations on getting access to this video course on Facebook Ad Tracker. So this is video number one, which is the introduction to Facebook tracking. So the goal of this course is to really simplify things so that Facebook ads and Facebook tracking doesn't seem that complex. So in this video course, we're going to look at different types of funnels and how to correctly set up your Facebook pixel tracking. And more importantly, this is not some hypothetical theory. You're going to be giving some real life practical examples. We're going to take a look at different types of funnels and where you should add your code and all of that. So don't worry, we'll show you step by step. Now, before we get started, I want to talk about mindset because that's very important. Now, in order to succeed at Facebook ads, you must be willing to train your pixel. So what that means is that you're not expecting to make tons of profit out of the gate. Now, that might happen with some of you, but for the most part, if you're starting from scratch and you have a brand new pixel with no data whatsoever, then you're going to need to train that pixel. So training a pixel basically means that you get traffic to your website where the pixel is located and Facebook is able to figure out what kind of traffic is coming to your site and of course what kind of traffic is buying your product. So who is considered a lead and all of that. And then in the future, you can create a lookalike audience and then Facebook will go out in their database and will be able to figure out who they can target and who is most likely to become your lead. So rather in this case, you're going to be spending some money to gather the data so that Facebook can figure out the right buyer. Because it's a big misconception that a lot of people think that, okay, if I set up a Facebook ad, I'm going to get, you know, really good results right away. And that's usually far from the truth. So now that that's out of the way, and hopefully we've brought you to more of a realistic point of view, what I want to do now is give you a quick overview of what's inside this video course. So video number one is this video here. And video number two is business manager setup. So before you can start doing ads, you need to set up your business manager. And what this does is it centralizes everything so that you can access your pages, your ad accounts, your pixels, and you can even add people to give access to certain things. So let's say, for example, that you decide to hire a you know, Facebook ad person. You can give them read-only access if you just want them to take a look, or you can give them access to the whole campaign to edit and run your ads. So that's crucial. That's the step number one. Video number three, we're going to talk about how to go about creating a Facebook pixel. We'll talk about things like, should you have one pixel or two pixels or when should you use several pixels, right? Video number four, we'll talk about standard events and I'll give you a quick overview of that. And briefly, basically what standard events are, are they allow you in Facebook to figure out you know, who's coming to your website? Are they just a visitor? Are they somebody who filled out a form and all that? So it basically allows you to figure out what are people doing in your funnel and whether your funnel is working or not. Video number five, we'll talk about the email opt-in funnel events. So we'll take a look at a typical email opt-in funnel or a lead magnet funnel where you send people to a page and then you ask for the email and their name, they fill it out and then they get sent to another page. So that's a basic email opt-in funnel. So I'm going to give you a real live example. We're going to use click funnels. I'm going to walk you through step by step. I'm going to show you where you can place the pixel code, how you can go about creating the pixel code and all that. So this video here is really what sets the tone for all the rest of the videos. So video number six, I'm going to show you a mind map on how to set up a funnel that caters to people who abandoned the cart. So what that means is people who, you know, they went to your store, they added some products to their cart, they clicked add to cart, 
they're at the cart page, but for whatever reason, they decided not to buy. So I'm going to show you a mind map there and show you what you need to do. And based on video five, obviously, if you watch that, you'll know where to put your pixel code. Video number seven takes it a step further, and this is the purchase funnel events. And what this is, is it based on the abandoned cart, after they purchase, you send them to the purchase page, and what else? We could send them to a one-time offer, we could create a custom audience, we could segment them, and all of that. So this actually goes a little bit more further into a deeper purchase funnel. And of course, video number eight is great for you know service-based businesses, consultants, coaches who want to build a funnel that captures a lead or get somebody to fill out a form. So maybe you want to send them to a page, you want them to fill out a form, you want them to book a call. How do you go about doing that? How do you create your pixel codes? We'll talk about that. Now, once you've gone through the funnels and you have a better idea and you go ahead and install your pixel code, then we want to make sure that we test to make sure that it actually works, right? So video number nine is about how to test your pixel and make sure that it is active. There's not, nothing that you have to pay for. It's a free app that you can install in your Google Chrome browser. And I'll show you how to find it, how to figure out whether your pixel code has been properly installed. So let's talk about getting started here. You're obviously going to need to have a Facebook ad account. You'll need to have a business manager account as well, but we'll talk about that um, in the next video. You'll need a landing page builder or a website. And if you use a landing page builder like ClickFunnels or lead pages, it's going to be a lot easier because they have set things up so that you can easily add tracking codes to the header. And you need to have a business funnel. If you don't have that right now, then this might give you some ideas. All right, so with that said, let's move on to video number two.